Are you following too many gurus? Are you following too many people in your life? Are you a constant follower and not a leader? Are you having a hard time making decisions in your life? That's what we're talking about right now here. Happy summer solstice. I'm Lisa L. We're talking about decision making. <laughs> and this falls into when you have an abundance of information coming at you and um, you're taking in too many courses, you're taking in too many gurus, you're taking in too many YouTube channels, too many people telling you which direction to go. And what you need to really do is actually take a step back and truly just see who's in alignment and what advice is in alignment with your goals and what you're trying to accomplish and get out of life. Okay. So why is decision making so difficult most of the time? It's because we are still at the root of being into the people pleasing mode. So this has happened to me so many times. You, you have like a guru, you have like a, a coach you've hired and i um, like, here you guys, I'm the queen of coaches. I've had my life coach since 2012. I've have a fitness coach. I have a, a business mastermind that I'm a part of. Um, that's just wrapping up. And then I have another uh, business coach that I've invested in for the next 12 months of my business life. And so like, yeah, you get it from a lot of different places. And sure, those are all kind of in different areas of my life. I have different coaches and people who I allow to speak into your life. So here's the thing you need to remember. And I mean, I think Danielle um, Laporte says it best in her book, but basically you need to be your own guru. You need to Tune into yourself first and take the suggestions of what other people are putting into your life, putting into your mind, because you're going to hear things and um, they're going to contradict a lot of the time. And that doesn't make either of the suggestions wrong. It's like, do I go or do I stay? Neither is right. Neither is wrong. Do I take this path or do I take this path? Neither is right. Neither is wrong. You can't really screw up your life because remember, if you hold the belief that everything in your life is happening for your highest good, then it will, it will turn out and eventually you will course correct and get back on path. So do you guys remember that if you are setting your boat, say to, um, like to a destination and you're entering in your GPS, a specific location, and you know what happens when you are like one degree off course? you're totally going to miss your target. And that's the key. It's to always be course correcting back in to the place where you need to go, where you need to be with your business, with your money, with your life. Okay. With everything, with relationships, with your health, all of it. Right. So we need to keep like course correcting and tuning back in. That's what your practice of self care is all for. That is what your meditations are for. That is what your exercise is for. That is what I'm um, doing. All the things you're doing is for, you want to keep tuning back into your North star, right? And keep aligning to that and making sure that's the way you're headed. This is so important when it comes to money. When this comes to money, it's so key because you are not you are listening to so many people. You are, you are taking the advice of the random stranger. Also the large media at large, like, you know, you know, buy a house, get a mortgage, take on debt, do this investment, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. It's like, there's this checklist. And let me tell you, if it is not aligned for you, you will fail miserably at it. If it is not something that, um, it, it like in alignment with where you want to go, it will not work out for you. And you unfortunately will go through those hard times in your life. Think back to all the hard times you've been in your life. And yes, we're grateful for them. And yes, we needed those hard times. The only reason we need hard times is because it actually helps us find what makes us, um, like lead us to where we're meant to go. Right. That's the beautiful thing about emotion. If you're feeling negative emotion in your life right now, remember emotion is a guide. Emotion is there to guide you to what your true North star is, right? It's there to keep you in alignment. That's what emotion does for you. And is there a way to live this life? Like totally stress-free? Probably not, <laughs> not on this, in this, in this current, you know, 3d world we live in, but, um, and that's shifting fast too, right? But like, this is the goal. The goal is to keep turning back, getting to that state of zero. If you read, um, Dr. Joe Vitale's book, zero limits, like, right, you guys, this all comes back to going back to the state of love, to the state of zero, to the state of emptiness, right? 
where we can then create exactly what we want. And that's how you get into alignment. It's like coming back, tuning in to bring you, um, to, to allow you to take that di divine action um, instead of a forced action, right? That's the difference between hustle and flow, right? Not that hustle's bad. I mean, hustle can be in flow too, right? Um, depending upon how you're using the word. But it's like being in, in that flow state means you've kind of cleared out all the other stuff and now you can come to that place of nothing and then choose the aligned actions that go with where you're headed, right? And um, that's what it boils down to. Like, that's how you win at the game. That's how you are going to live your most successful financial life. You have to do this. You have to come back. Like, this is all connected. If you keep thinking that your money is separate from you, you're on the wrong, like change the channel. Like you're not going to get it, right? Your money is you. You are your money because it's the same energy, the same frequency, the same vib vibration that you are putting out into the world. So that is what you need to hear. Do you guys hear that? That's the alignment you need to get into because it's all going to come from that place of, of love, from that place of, of, of tuning back in, which starts at a place of nothingness. The trick here, you guys, is that the state of nothingness, okay, it, it erases all your past memories and all the past programming, and that can't run as software in the back of your mind, right? We want to clear it out. And then we want to be able to be at that place of empty where we can then forward create and take that divine action. Okay. So this is about making decisions. This is about like every time you're thinking about what someone else has, has said to you in the past, you're in, you're in past programming. Anytime you're listening to, um, like, you know, just anything, anything that's playing on in your head, someone's voice or some, someone, something your parents said, or someone that you once resonated with or heard once a long time ago, or, you know, money doesn't grow in trees, like pick whatever thing that, you know, you, you keep hearing in the back of your head, like don't go into debt, like whatever it is, like everything has its place. And if you are called to take on debt for your business or for a specific purpose, it could be aligned. Like, don't just let what mainstream tells you to be what's right for you. That doesn't necessarily mean it's right for you. Every, everything, every time, everything has a place. Don't forget to honor the fact that, and remember this, like on the topic of debt, if you are in debt or have some debt, um, like we've took, we've taken on debt in our business. It's okay. Like that doesn't make me feel less worthy as a person, right? Um, remember you are providing jobs for someone else. When you have a mortgage, you are providing a job for a mortgage broker. When you have debt, you're providing jobs and capital for banks. Like, you know, like it's, it's okay. Stop making it bad. Stop making yourself bad for not being where you should be. Okay. So this all goes back to making decisions and why is decision-making so hard? It's because you are still focused on everyone else when what you need to do is make sure you are your own guru, you are your own Northern star. You need to follow that, right? It's like here, it's like up there, <laughs> like follow that. Right. And it's like coming into you, into your soul. It's like bursting out, right? That's the only thing that matters. That is the only thing because when you're there, you're in a place of love. You're in a state of love. You can't be anything but when you are in that state. Like, I don't think it's possible. I don't think it's possible if you're meditating on the words, I love you or on, on like good, right? That you just can't, you can't have bad and good. Like it doesn't work at the same time. Like come to that place, come to that state. This is like the God state, right? When you can get to that place and it is going to absolutely change and transform your relationship with money. Cause this is like how you want to really make more money. It's like, from taking aligned, divine actions in your life and making decisions like from that aligned, divine state. Okay. So you're never going to make a decision in your life if you're living for what, or trying to people please someone else in your, in your world. Okay. So remember that, cut it out, let it go, make the decision, hold it with intent. Um, and then release it. You have to release it. I think that's a huge part. We hold on to things too tightly sometimes. Release it, let it go, because that is how you are going to go out and live your legacy. So I hope you have a great day. Happy summer solstice. It's going to be a great, great summer.